All right, and here's how to do a paired sample t-test if you're using the Jamovi software. So just like with our one sample t-test, you're going to come over here to your analyses tab. You'll see over here on the data tab that we already have loaded in just this pretend pre-test and post-test, and we also asked our participants age. Now it's important that you uh, double check that you do have your variables set up as continuous variables. Sometimes it'll default to nominal variables and it won't let you calculate it if it's that way. So we're gonna come over here to our analyses tab. Again, Jamovi makes this very easy to find. You just click on t-test and you go to a paired samples t-test. Now keep in mind with a paired samples t-test, your goal is you're comparing if each individual participant that you had had a statistically significant difference between their pre-test values and, your po and their post-test values. You, you're keeping them paired together. So we do this as a variable pair. So you're going to click on pretest and click it over, and you're going to click on post test and click it over. So this is your variable pair. If you have multiple pretests and post tests that you're comparing, or if you're comparing partners or parents and children or whatever, you want to make sure your pairs get on the same line so that it calculates it correctly. And we can scroll these over. Now, over here on your hypotheses, you can indicate if you're wanting it to be calculated as simply the two of them are not equal to each other, or if you're wanting to specify a direction that the pretest was greater than the post test, the post test was greater than the pretest. For the sake of this example, we're just going to keep it that they're not equal. And again, just like with the one sample t test, you can designate different types of testing that you can do. For the purposes of this class, we're going to keep it as a student's t-test. Um, and again, also you can show an effect size and things like that. I always click the descriptives because again, I just like seeing descriptives. So now you'll come over here and what you'll see that it has calculated for you is we can look at our descriptives first. That's the first place that I always check. And you can see that our mean from our pretest is 55, and our mean from our post test is 48. So logically, we know that there's been a decrease, right? Whenever we talked about the one sample t test, we said, you know, imagine this might be an anxiety inventory, and there was some sort of workplace anxiety reduction program. So if we're looking at this, we can say, okay, well, it looks like workplace anxiety went down based on these test results, but we still need to know if it's statistically significant. So this is where we would come up here. And we would see that our paired sample t-test statistic is 1.77. And we would see that that does have a statistical significance value of p equals 0 0.08. Remember, usually for behavioral sciences, we want to see p less than 0 0.05 for statistical significance. So in this case, this was not a statistically significant reduction. Part of that being because our standard deviation is so high. If you would actually sit and map this out pen and paper, which I know everyone is really excited for that option. But if you were to sit and do that, you would see that this the standard deviation being so high is a part of why this reduction, even though it might seem really great that we got a seven point reduction basically is not statistically significant. So that is how to do a paired samples t-test using your Jamovi software.